Hello, in this video I'm going to work through a few more revision problems when it comes to solving quadratic inequalities. Uh, in particular, in this video, I'm um, going to focus on uh, a particular set of questions uh, which states to find the set of values of x for which, and for, uh, in, in, in the first example, we're given x squared minus 7x, 7x plus 10. Um, is less than 0 and um, 3x plus 5 3x plus 5 is less than 17 so um, uh, 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 as opposed to, or, or what's different here um, uh, in comparison to previous videos on in it on quadratic inequalities is that we're given two inequalities for this question. We have to find um, the set of values of x. Uh, and so basically we're just going to solve both of these inequalities uh, and, and uh, then from there we can move forward. Uh, and so the first one here is quite simple. All we need to do is set this x squared minus 7x plus 10 to equal 0. We just need to set it to equal 0. Now we're just going to factor it and find our values for x. So that's really straightforward. Uh, so AC, uh, well AC is 10, what uh, multiplies to 10 and adds to 7, well 2 and 5 immediately stands out. If we make, uh, it's negative 7, so if we make both of these negative, that's going to give us our add to negative 7 and also multiply to our, uh, our uh, positive 10. So those are, those are our two factors, and, and so I'm going to just erase that and... Um, Right, x squared minus 2x minus 5x plus 10. Um, so we can factor out an x here. So it's going to be x minus 2. Factor out a negative 5. It's going to be x minus 2. Okay, and so we have x minus 2, x minus 5. Um, and so therefore we have x equals 2. I'll box that off. Um, and x equals 5. Right, so um, now I'm just um, going to uh, work on this second inequality. Um, and it's a curious one in that we don't have a quadratic. It's not a quadratic, it's a line. It appears to be a line. Uh, and so what we could do really is just um, subtract 17 from both sides, I think. Um, and so we'd have um, 3x uh, uh, minus 12 is less than 0. Um, and now we can just solve for x. Uh, and so I'm just going to add 12 again to both sides. Um, so we're going to have 3x is uh, less than 12. And then we just divide by 3. Um, and so we're going to have x is uh, less than 4. Okay, so um, we have our set of values here, um, and I mean we could sketch this graph if if we wanted, and we could even sketch this line if we wanted to. Um, though I, I don't know if that's entirely necessary. Um, and uh, really, what we want to find is the question asks us or states to find the set of values of x. So we can find the set of values easy enough with the information we have here, in that. We know that um, um, this is le uh, x squared minus 7x plus 10 is less than 0. It's less than 0. Uh, so actually, okay, I'll just sketch it just so to visualize. But um, So basically, um, we have our two roots. So the graph here is going to look something like this. If we uh, call this uh, y equals x squared minus 7x plus 10, okay? Uh, we have two roots. So at... Um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so at 2 and 5. It's an upward facing parabola because the coefficient of the x squared term is positive, so it's going to be something like this. However, um, x squared minus 7x plus 10 is less than 0 as, as stated already, so the, the set of values is going to be beneath the x axis in this case, and I should probably label axes, you know, just a bit lazy, I guess. Um, and so, 
and understanding that their set of values is going to be uh, below the x-axis in this in this case we can say that x the, st the set of values where x is going to be greater than 2 greater than 2 but less than 5 less than 5 right in in the set of values here for this line it's just x is greater the error is less than 4 um, and we could we could sketch this line if we if we if we really wanted to, but it's not entirely necessary um, because now we can just draw a basic number line. Whoops! If I get um, my line tool out, something like this it probably doesn't need to be that big. Um, and so we know that x is less than four, and x is less than five here. So let's just um, we can yeah we'll just start at, at, at say this is uh, zero. We'll go one. Two, three, four, five, six, and I'm just going to. We don't need it to be this big to avoid confusion. Something like that. Okay, so that's one, two, let's just a three, four, five, six, a basic number line. And so let's consider the quadratic first. It's uh, x is greater than 2 but less than 5 so it's greater than 2 but it's less than 5 less than 5 so it's going to draw on a number line it's going to be something like that whereas here we have x is less than 4 x is whoops x is less than 4 so it's going to be something like that um, and so the, the 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 range of values in this case and actually I'll just Put an arrow here to denote that, and for the sake of it, I'll just write that this is two um, x is greater than two, but less than five, and I'll just write here that x is less than four. And so, in this case, then um, the 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 two sets of values overlap, right? Where um, x is greater than two, um, but less than four. So we can therefore say that the solution is x is greater than 2 and we see right here greater than 2 but less than 4 um, and I can mark that even in, in red um, so it's greater than 2 Oops. greater than 2 but less than 4 right like that okay and that's our solution uh, which I will box off here like so Okay, so check and um, work on, uh, let's uh, work on one more, let's work on something a bit more interesting. Um, say we are given, this one looks fun, say we are given um, 4x squared, 4x squared, minus 3x, minus 3x, minus 1 is less than 0, less than not, alright? And say we have, and say we have four times x plus two is less than fifteen minus x plus seven. Okay, so um, the first thing we want to do is just well, the quadratic on on the on the left hand side here is already. Um, set for us really we don't need to do anything here um, so we can just go ahead and solve this um, by setting it to equal 0 minus 3x minus 1 equals 0 um, um, and AC of course is going to be negative 4 negative 4 is AC and so what multiplies to negative 4 and adds a 3 well uh, I'm thinking 1 in negative 4 still multiplies to negative 4 and that's certainly going to add to negative 3. So these are our factors. We've got 4x squared minus 4x plus x minus 1. And I'm just going to delete, uh, erase this to save space. So we can uh, factor out a 4x here. 4x which is going to leave it which is going to leave us with x minus 1. Um, and we can factor out a 1 let's say and it's going to be x minus 1. Therefore, uh, we have x minus 1 or 4x plus 1. Uh, and so x equals 1. I will box that off. x 
equals negative one fourth. And now we'll box that off. Okay, so those are our two roots, uh, two solutions for this quadratic. In a, um, and so now we have uh, all of this stuff here. And so we just need to employ the distributive property first. Start working through uh, all of this. So it's going to be 4x, 4 times x, uh, and 4 times 2. And likewise, I'm just going to distribute. It's just the equivalent of negative 1 here. I can just write it that way. So we're just going to distribute that. So we have 4x plus 8 is less than 15 minus x uh, minus 7. Right, so it looks to be a line. Um, and in that case, what we're going to do is look, uh, we can um, subtract 15 from both sides, we can add x to both sides, and we can add 7 to both sides. So I'm just going to do all of that at once, it's going to give us 5x. Um, we subtract 15, that's going to give us 7. So it's going to be minus 7, but then we're adding 7, that's going to give us uh, 0. Did I do that right? Uh, 8 minus 15 is indeed negative 7, and then we're adding 7, uh, and so that's just going to cancel out this negative 7, so we're just left with 5x here, um, and if we set that to equal 0, we divide by both sides, and x is just going to equal equal not, equal 0, um, I often interchange between how I say that, but okay, um, X, so so that's uh, okay. That's fairly straightforward, I suppose. Um, and I'll sketch this quadratic really quickly, just for the sake of clarity. Um, so we know that um, it's going to be an upward-facing parabola. Um, we also know we have our two roots at x equals one and x equals uh, uh, one fourth, negative one fourth. So we'll just draw it like this say that this is, I don't know, say this is negative 1, so 1 fourth is going to be somewhere in here. It's upward facing parabola. Say that this is 1. That's 1, and we'll just say 2 for context. Okay, so definition, I suppose. And so the, the parabola is going to look something like this. It's going to come down, and it's going to come up at 1, like so. Um, and we are also told that 4x squared minus 3x minus 1 is less than 0. So the set of values here is going to be right in this um, area uh, beneath the x-axis. And I should probably note that this is y equals 4x squared minus 3x minus 1, and I should probably label my axes. Sometimes I get a bit lazy, okay? And so here we, we're said this is very simple. We're just saying the x equals 0, um, uh, right? So. Um, this, I mean, we could sketch this line if we wanted, but it's not really necessary because what we need to find uh, are the two sets of values and where they overlap, right? So we can just draw a number line to visualize exactly where they overlap. Uh, and so we, the lowest we go is to negative one fourth. So say we, say we, um, say we, let's start here. Say it's negative one and one half. And this is negative one. This is negative one half. This is uh, not. This is zero. This is uh, one half. And this is one. And we'll just call this one and one half. Okay. Uh, now we know that we have a root at one. X equals one, but it's x is actually less than one. So x is less than one. Oh, and I should actually state the values here where um, I skipped that part. I just did it in my head, I didn't write it out. Um, so we have x is uh, less than, um, uh, x is less than 1, less than 1, but it's going to be greater than negative 1 fourth. That's our, our set of values for that quadratic. And so we can draw that now, uh, right here, so where we have x is greater than 1 fourth. So we'll just say 1 fourth is is uh, right in uh, negative one fourth is right in here. It's got half, so we'll say x is greater than uh, one negative one fourth, but less than one. 
So we have open circles to denote that. <coughs> Meanwhile, x is uh, equal to 0. Um, and actually, it's not that way. x is going to be less than 0. So it's going to look like this. Now if I just draw it with an arrow, x is less than 0 here. I should have written that out. <coughs> x is less than 0. Um, and so the, 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 the solution here is that x is, and I'll <coughs> write it out, x is greater than um, negative 1 fourth, but less than 0. Right in there, but less than 0. <coughs> so we have x is, um, x is <coughs> greater than negative 1 fourth, but less than 0. That is our solution.